Welcome to our lesson about the Planar Surface Tool. As you've guessed, this tool creates planar surfaces. Here's the tool. Let's activate it. First thing to do is select the edges, which will form the perimeter of the surface. We see a preview. Let's click OK. Let's try another example. We'll use a new document. OK. And right click and create a sketch on the top plane. Let's drop a rectangle here. And let's use the line tool now. We'll create a second rectangle. And let's close my profile. Circle tool. Drop a circle in the middle. Exit the sketch. Isometric view. And let's activate the planar surface tool again. Now we'll select this line. Both profiles become selected. As you noticed in the second profile, SolidWorks created a planar face up to the inner circle. And let's click OK to accept. Now activate the tool again. Let's create a second planar surface from the circle. And OK. OK, let me undo both of those operations. Let's extrude these profiles. Extruded surface command. Select the sketch. Let's just go with the default values. Activate the planar surface tool again. Select these edges. And for this profile. Lastly, the circular edge. OK, looks like I missed one edge. Here's my preview. Let's click OK. Let's try a couple more planar surfaces. I'll select this edge and this edge and click OK. Now let's select this edge and this edge and click OK as well. Let's shift select and delete these surfaces. Do I really want to delete? Yes to all. I'm going to create a surface that covers both of these profiles. To do so, first I need to create a plane. Let's go to Insert, Reference Geometry, Plane. I'm going to select this edge and this point. Accept. While the plane is selected, let's create a sketch. We'll start with a rectangle. Something like this. Exit the sketch. Back to the Surfaces tab. Activate the Planar Surface tool. Here's a preview. Let's click OK to accept. Here is a surface that covers both profiles. This concludes our lesson on the Planar Surface tool.